Hello everybody and welcome to Math 106. Online with me, Karen Crossan. We're going to go ahead to Blackboard and this is what you should see once you click and get into the course. Read all of this, of course, it tells you what to do to be successful and what you should do now. And the first thing you should do after you read this is read the syllabus. We're going to look at that together just really quickly. Over here is where you find almost everything. So we're opening up the syllabus right there. Here's our syllabus. A couple things I want to go over on the syllabus. One of them is that my online office hours I have not a um, announced yet. Um, go ahead and post that on the discussion board when you would be most convenient for you to have your online office hours and then I'll make them work whenever works for you all. Um, and me, of course. I kind of have to be there to have my office hours, right? So next, when you email me, first discussion board is the first place to go, but when you do email me, please make sure that you put your name Math106DL2 followed by your first and last, last name in the subject line because I know you're asking me about a math class, but I sometimes have 500 students a semester, so I really need to know which class you're talking about and who you are before I even open the email. Um, this is all the boring stuff. We'll talk about more of this as we go on. Test dates, blah, blah, blah. The tests will be in Exploratory Hall, which is also where my office is. Very, very close to each other. So if you're nearby or on campus sometimes, you can come visit me onward as you read the syllabus. Um, the only other two things, some people have trouble posting a PDF. Second or third week of class you have to post a PDF, whoops, on Blackboard. Um, it's not liking me. Um, so there we go. Whatever. PDF. <laughs> You're going to need to be able to post a PDF um, on uh, when you do your homework. And that, the reason for that, for the homework with PDFs, is that you need practice actually writing math, not just clicking around. You'll have online homework and written homework. And what I found with just written homework is that people, or with just online homework, is that people were getting really good at clicking, but not that good at writing math. And when you take the actual tests, you need to practice that kind of math, writing, writing, writing. Then there's discussion boards that you're required to complete. Um, discussion board posts during the course of the semester. It's shown that people do better when they participate in some way with other people. Um, and we'll go to the discussion board in a little while on Blackboard so you see how that works. Your online homework is run by My Math Lab, which some of you may have used before. Um, if you are having trouble with My Math Lab, I cannot fix it. Um, so please call them. This is their 800 number on your syllabus. Um, I can't fix my math lab. If you're having a trouble, you know, go ahead and post the trouble you had on the discussion board so that other people can see what's going on. My math lab usually is pretty straightforward though, so it shouldn't be a problem. Then the last thing on the syllabus is the schedule, which is pretty, pretty straightforward and color-coded so that you know what's covered during which times and when everything's happening. So you might want to put that into your calendar or whatever you need to do to make sure that you've got that going on. So next we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you um, the course content part of the course where you where class actually happens. So when you come into Blackboard you're on the getting started page at first then you read the syllabus and then you should go to course content over here all the buttons are over here. Um, Alright so here we go in course content um, all you can see right now is week one and when it's due. You go into each week, they'll, they'll show as the weeks start. You have the lectures that you're going to listen to, and they have different looks to them, but they'll play through Blackboard. There's no zooming around to find them. So these are the lectures for the week. They're, they're relatively short. There's also some worksheets that you can print out and try the problems, and then here's the solutions to the problems over here. Um, and then there's a link that sometimes works and sometimes doesn't to my math lab. I'm going to try it now and see what happens. Um, and it didn't work here. So, and frequently these, these links don't work, so I might just take them out. Um, I'm going to show you how to actually get to my math lab. You go ahead. All right, so that's what you do with course content. This is the stuff created by George Mason University. Um, myself and a couple other professors created this content. 
and then you'll also have online homework. You'll have regular homework at the bottom of each week down here, turn in homework for week one. Week one, it's not actually written homework. Um, so you'll see when you get to week two. But down here at the bottom is what you're supposed to do. It's for a grade besides my math lab every week. Turn in for week one. You're just going to go to the discussion board and tell me some things about yourselves. So every week there's my math lab, which is over here. So let me go to my math lab and show you a really nice thing. So you click on my math lab here, and then here you click on it again, and it asks you to register. And there's two ways to register. It says you can either use the access code that came with your book you bought in the bookstore or online or whatever. So there is an access code. Or you can use a credit card to pay, and it comes with the ebook. Or down here, this is the important thing right here, get temporary access without payment for 14 days. So if you're not sure you're going to stay in this class or don't have money right now, this gives you two weeks of access to the ebook and all of the online homework without um, paying yet. And it keeps your things. Even if you go over a couple days, um, then it still keeps your grades in there. So this is how you get into the online homework. Um, and that'll be very self-explanatory. So just go ahead there and do the the free trial if you if you choose to do that. Um, and then I guess the last thing I want to talk about is your homework for the first week and homework for several times afterwards, the discussion board. So again, all the clicky things are over here. Here's the discussion board. For week one, all you need to do is introduce yourself. Okay, here's all the different threads you should should introduce yourself in. This one's just mine. You can read it at your leisure. Then, if you live on campus or close to campus or between 5 and 15 miles or 15 miles away, you're going to open up that thread, open it up, and then hit reply when you're going to say about yourself. You need to make sure you include the things that you're asked for, the general geographic area. Do you live in Burke or Centerville or whatever? Um, and general feelings towards being a student and something about what you expect um, for the semester. So just say a couple things about yourself here, including those things, and that's your only actual written homework for the week. There's my math lab homework and written homework every week. So I'm going to go back to the page you come into and say farewell from there. Um, so Here's the Getting Started page. A lot of people have difficulty with online courses the first time they take them. There's a couple of strategy things provided by the university you can go to. Um, and one of the things that makes my life get handled easier when it's something like this where it's all your responsibility and it's, you're not coming to class and I'm not reminding you of stuff all the time is to, to just make sure you have a calendar for the week. Pick a day or two days or three days of the week to, to do a little bit of math homework and just to make sure it's in your schedule. Just like your workout and eating well and do it, taking care of all the stuff you have to do, make sure you have set in your weekly schedule um, some time to, to focus on your math every week. That's about it for now. Go ahead and get started on the discussion board and I look forward to meeting some of you whenever I do. Thanks. Bye.